Hey, watch fans. Um, today we are looking at the Rolex day date meteorite uh, market. Um, you know, I, I'm, I find this kind of interesting. You know, I have a older day date bark finish, um, which you know, I've done a review on. Uh, it was a watch I've had for many years, 20 years plus. Uh, you know, listen, everybody kind of has to go through that day date president phase, right? Um, yeah, so I, I, it's a watch I haven't worn that much, quite frankly. Um, I never quite got into it, and I've been looking to do a trade. And now the 40 millimeter, again, I, it's a little big. Look, it's a little big, that size. I, you know, I do have the Yacht Master and Submariner, so I've kind of gotten used to wearing it. And quite frankly, the 40 millimeter, um, I find uh, it just really works for the day date. You know, when, when you see the 36 uh, president now, it just looks kind of, you know, quaint and old fashioned, right? You, 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 you show it side by side. And again, here you can see some of these, are the older, this is a, a meteorite dial. Uh, this is the older, again, this is the older meteorite dial, which is, uh, they kind of had a funky, no, this is, yeah, it's, yeah, it just, you know, it's kind of looks very, I don't know if it is the word is it feminine or just just too just doesn't it just doesn't look right it just doesn't look right. Um, the new dime the new diamond dial the baguette dial I think is is stunning absolutely stunning. Now the problem is of course as we uh, as you are aware as you are aware what's happening is uh, you know. Theoretically, there's a shortage of the flippers, whatever. You know, you got all these, all these losers. You know, with their stimulus checks that uh, you know have been buying stuff that you know normally they couldn't afford, and that's you know driven the market up on everything, right? So you know we're paying the price for you know irresponsible, irresponsible actions by the government. Um, so yeah, these prices went crazy. Now, uh, what's going on? Now, I actually I was looking at one a year ago, like almost uh, yeah, last August I think it was, and there was a used one on the market for uh, fifty six grand. Now the list is forty nine thousand of this. It's forty nine grand. Now I remember the days when you can get a discount, a discount <laughs> on any day date. That was like you know. 25% off at least, at least, maybe 30%. I'm pretty sure there were 30% discounts. I mean, it was just nobody bought these watches at retail unless, like, you know, you just didn't know anything. I mean, nobody buys this at retail. Uh, you know, it's changed. I mean, in th there's, you know, these dealers, these flippers or whatever, they're saying, oh, it's permanent. I don't know. I mean, I, look, the, it's a cool watch. I just don't think there's really anything that special about Rolex at the end of the day. At the end of the day, um, there's really nothing that special about Rolex compared to, you know, Audemars Piguet, Patek. I, I'm not, and I'm talking about just those are the main brands. I'm not even talking about, uh, you know, I don't know, Lange or, you know, F.P. Jour, you know, all these, whatever. Those are kind of niche. Those are niche brands. Those will never be popular, quite frankly. Like, those will never have that, you know, major brand uh, thing going on like this. Like this. Um so, um, yeah, but Rolex is just, look, there's no display back, which is, I think is a big deal. Like, I mean, that that's, you know, hot, hot horology. Uh, you know, that's kind of the, you know, the trademark of, you know, the hot horology, the display back. You want to see, you know, the mechanism, right? But Rolex mechanism is like, you know, it looks like a, like a Ford, uh, Ford Pinto, basically. There's nothing special going on there. So, you know, they're hiding it for obvious reasons. Um, so how do you sell this watch for 70? This is, again, 50. Forget about even 50 grand. That's like the list. But these prices are, are crazy, right? So how many of them are listed? So there's 76. But in reality, you know, you got a bunch of these older ones. I, should, I guess I should have done the Rolex Day Day Meteorite 40. Okay. Okay, there we go. That cleans it up. Sorry about that. Uh, low to high. 
So now here's what's interesting. Now I, I remember just, uh, again, I sold one for 56 grand about a year ago. And I was like, eh, you know, let me wait. I think these prices are going to come down. This market is inflated. We're in a bubble. And I was saying this last, you know, last August. So 56 grand, was it a deal? I kind of wanted to see it and I wasn't able to see it. I think he had it on hold maybe already. And, you know, I missed it. And then all of a sudden I see these prices start creeping up. 60, 65, 70, 80, 85, 90. Um, and now this watch, this guy's watch, I've seen for quite a while. It's been lingering here. Looks like some dude from Miami. Um, this watch has been lingering on Chrono for a while, and the price has dropped by five grand, right? So the price are definitely dropping. And, you know, just about two months ago, three months ago, I remember seeing these for like 80, 80, or they were all like 80 plus. Now, all of a sudden, one, two, three, four, there's four washers in the 70s, and they're all dropping a little bit. They're all kind of like, you know, one guy lowers by a thousand, the next guy. So, you know, as, as, you know, some of these guys are lower prices, that pulls in other guys to lower their prices, right? That's the way the market works. So here's a private seller. And that's kind of annoying buying from privates. Uh, he's asking 76 grand, right? And now you have two dealers. You know, it's much easier buying from dealers. And here's a guy in the U.S. Um, for less money, right? You don't, have any, you don't have to deal with any problems when you're buying from, you know, a halfway legitimate dealer. You know, these private people, you know, they change their mind, you know, they're flaky, who knows? It's just, it's not worth the hassle, quite frankly. Um, so here's a guy, uh, what is he saying? Uh, pictures of generic. Watch is not in stock, but available to order. I guess he's, I guess this guy's like a flipper and he's, he's got somebody who's going to flip him the watch. So he'll reflip re to you. But oh, so here's the thing you got to look for. I'm sure you guys know this. You know, when you see the actual picture, you know, that means the watch is, you know, legit. It's, the guy owns it, usually. I mean, right? Why would he take a picture? I mean, usually when they have a watch, you know, they got original pictures. That means they own it. And if I were buying a watch on Chrono, and this is what I've done, is I basically tell the guy, hey, show me the watch, like, you know, in a WhatsApp video. I'll, like, I actually want to see it. Like, I want to actually kind of, you know, do a virtual inspection on by WhatsApp. And yeah, you can get a good visual that way. Um, that way I know that they have it. I don't want these things where, look, these guys, they don't own these watches. They're just posting pictures, hoping that somebody's going to call them and then they're going to try to locate the watch. So you go, you get a whole bunch of these, you know, these are like backpack dealers or whatever. Uh, so here's some guys that, you know, they own them. But the, the, look at these prices. I mean, these guys are dreaming. They're in dreamland. How does somebody want to charge 97 it doesn't make any sense um platinum yeah this is crazy uh, yeah i'm not a fan of the platinum i don't i don't really get the platinum thing and it's a very heavy watch much heavier than gold and, and the smooth the smooth bezel i don't know if that's a, i'm not i'm not sure if i like that uh but uh getting back to the story the day date meteorite why do i like this dial okay so I like the watch because it's, um, you know, if you're going to have a Rolex um, white gold, you know, it looks like steel. So it's much, it, you know, it's more low key. You know, you're not going to get like the, uh, the Hoi Polloi, um, you know, asking if it's a Rolex. You know, no, you know nobody's going to notice this watch unless, you know, they know what it is. Um, you know, and the meteorite dial, I think is very cool. This new meteorite dial, you know, it's, yeah, it's a meteorite. I mean, it's a piece of a meteorite. I mean, I know it's, it's actually not a big deal. Look, there's actually a lot of meteorites <laughs> all over that have hit the planet and they're taking such a tiny slice. I mean, this is the market value of the of this meteorite slice is like, uh, I don't know, is it $20? Is it, is it you know, it, it costs them more to slice it to get that dial than the actual material, right? The meteor, I mean, you can get chunks of meteorite like this for, I don't know, let's say 500 bucks for like uh, that size and you know that could be sliced into you know 100 dials so it's not really the meteorite is not that valuable um yeah they have to make it they have to slice it up and polish it whatever they're doing yeah you know, it's a gimmick it's not something like oh my god this is like moon dust i mean if it had moon dust in there legitimate moon dust you know that 
you know, Neil Armstrong brought and, you know, that was actually verified moon dust. You know, maybe because that's kind of from the moon. How many people are going to go to the moon? Uh, but this is, you know, it's a gimmick. But I think the diamonds, the baguettes, the, you know, these are more, these are much better than those, the older diamonds. The older diamonds just look too gaudy, quite frankly. It looks like something that Liberace would wear. They look kind of tacky. The baguettes are more, you know, it's more masculine. I mean, I don't think, I mean, yeah, you can't, this is, yeah, you pretty much have to stay in this shape, um, you know, otherwise it just looks too uh, tacky or, I mean, it, it's not, I wouldn't even say it's feminine, it's just, yeah, they're kind of tacky, the, the, those small round diamonds, they're just tacky looking. I mean, I, even though, I don't know, if I was a woman, I, I don't think I'd wear it because they're just tacky. This is, this is beautiful. This is actually quite beautiful. Uh, they've really done a great job. And the, the watch is, they're, they're great watch. I think they look fantastic with the 40 millimeter. Uh, you know, the problem is it's become such a hype watch. You got all these, all these knuckleheads, all these influencers, you know, they don't know anything. They hear Rolex and they see this, you know, it's this Instagram watch. That's the problem. Every asshole, you know, who doesn't know anything about watches, this is this is what they buy. So that's the problem with the the day date forty. Um, but you can see the prices are coming down. They're definitely dropping. Uh, you know, this guy was down five grand already in the last month. These guys are popping up. Um, I think this watch is going to be back in the you know fifties, right at right at you know MSRP. I think it should even be lower, quite frankly. I, I think this Rolex market is in a major bubble, major, major bubble. And, um, you know, it's, again, these are mass, mass manufactured watches. There is nothing really uh, unique about it. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry. I own a couple of, how many Rolexes do I own? I own four, I think, four or five. I don't even know. Um, I mean, it's cool, but. You know, it's not Patek. It's not AP. It's uh, sort of your mass market luxury. It's kind of like uh, Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton is not Hermes, okay? It's not. Uh, not even close. Uh, and it's not even uh, Goyard, right? I mean, you know, it, it, that's kind of what Patek is. Patek is just like, you know, it's just... N- n- High end, it's sort of like you know, top of the line Mercedes S class, top of the line, fully loaded, you know. But it's not, um, it's not a well, I, I don't even want to say Bentley or Rolls because those are kind of at this point, you know, it's a how it's a Volkswagen or BMW product at these days. But you, you get you get the point, you get the point. Um, wow, this is actually pretty cool. Um, why am I looking at this? Wow, this is beautiful. Sky Dweller. Uh, yeah, I just wish they, they came in a smaller size. This 42 millimeter. It's just too big. Now, this to me is a much better value. I mean, if you're going to spend 58 grand on a watch, you know, Sky Dweller is a serious complication. I mean, that's a cool watch. Um, I think if they can just dro- drop the size down, it'll be a, one of the icons. Um, but yeah, this is a much more impressive to watch than, than a day date. Um, yeah, so I, I highly recommend everybody buys these. If you're going to spend that type of money, you might as well buy a uh, Sky Dweller, especially if you want to be flashy. I mean, if you want to be flashy, the Sky Dweller is the way to go. Uh, it's much more impressive. If you have the wrist that can handle a 42 millimeter watch, I mean, you know, this is the way to go. Look at this, right? You get the uh, the month, the month thing over here. The month. Where is the? Uh, where is? So the month should be. What's going on? Is it not working? I, am I missing something? So. Okay, my, from what I understand is that on the Sky Dweller, the month indication is, you know, the, that little white box gets filled in with, I think, a red. It's a red one. That's crazy. Uh, and then you get the day. 
so you get the month on the outside, the day on the, uh, no, wait, am I, what am I talking about? Uh, yeah, the day, yeah, the, I'm sorry, excuse me, the, the, uh, this is the uh, GMT function, but yeah, the, so the month is supposed to be on the outside, right? And then you get the date here. Am I missing something? I don't know, let me see. Sky dweller, sky dweller prices. Uh, it's interesting. Let's see. I'm just curious to see. Am I, am I imagining this? Yeah, no, there you go. It's supposed to have the, you know, you're going to have that little red button, you know, the thing closed off to indicate uh, what month it is. Uh, I mean, it's pretty interesting. The problem is you got to keep track. Is it the eighth month, the ninth? Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess, yeah. There's no date. So you got to, it takes like a second or two to, to actually think about it. So this is the movement. It's kind of ugly. It's so ugly. It's no wonder they hide this stuff. Um, again, you know, Rolex kind of, it's kind of overrated. If you really look at it compared to everything else, I mean, it's flashy, it's beautiful. You know, they have, they really have this something about them, but they're not. You know, they're not Patek. They're just not. Um, there you go. All right. Hey, let me know what you knuckleheads think. Leave your nasty comments down below. Subscribe if you want or don't subscribe.